over the past five years or so, I've dedicated some serious time into trying to write better screenplays. So I thought I'd share with you my top five tips for a better screenplay. Welcome to the Film Look. Give your video a futuristic touch with Rocket Stock's interface. Check it out via the link in the description or head over to rocketstock.com. Torture your characters. One way you can push your script to the next level is to torture your characters. We tend to write likeable characters in our films, which is great, but because of this, we may end up lacking commitment when giving them obstacles and struggles to overcome. So don't hold back. If you think you can push the drama or action even further, then go for it. It's all about going big or going home. Put them into a situation they simply can't avoid. What would you rather watch? Someone misplaces their car keys and has to walk home? Or someone drops their car keys down the side of a cliff which they have to attempt to climb down using their pants belt because they are 200 miles from civilization? Exposition, or the mass delivery of plot information, is usually unavoidable when writing a complex film. The trick to better exposition is having a character deliver information to an uninformed character rather than telling them something they already know. It's all about informing and educating rather than recapping on things they already have knowledge on. CSI is a prime example of bad exposition. They'll all be crowding around a crime scene and one dude will explain the situation to a team of professional detectives who already clearly know what's going on. A better example is Back to the Future. Doc Brown explains how time travel in the DeLorean works to Marty, who, as a layman, currently has zero knowledge on this. When you can, show, don't tell. Dialogue should always be the icing on the cake. A scene should demonstrate what is happening rather than a character's dialogue telling us. So next time you're editing your script, try turning that line of dialogue into action or drama instead. For example, you could have the line, Jimmy's got a big crush on Ashley, but he's too shy to ask her out. Or instead, Jimmy could bump into Ashley at a party and simply can't get a word out. The output of information is exactly the same, but one is a lot more visually entertaining. Dream fulfillment. The characters in your film should be doing things you wish you could do. We'll daydream about situations we know will never happen, but if you put pen to paper, your characters can act them out. An audience will engage with a story if they see their dreams being fulfilled on screen. So think of some quirky things you wish you could do and write them into your next film. You can write things like beating up the bully, spinning webs through New York City and winning the race of a lifetime. But they don't all have to be good. You can write more sinister situations like graffitiing the boss's car, robbing a casino and overthrowing the leader of a criminal organization. You can't edit a blank page, so stop worrying if your first draft is total garbage and stop hitting the delete key. Your first crack at a story is bound to be not so great. This is where the second draft comes in. Get your words on the page and don't look back until you've reached the end. Then you can go back and you can clean everything back up. This is why they call a first draft a vomit draft. Thanks to Rocket Stock for sponsoring the episode. Go check out their interface pack, which contains more than 400 HUD video elements, perfect for sci-fi, high-tech, and even corporate video projects. Check it out via the link in the description or head over to rocketstock.com. If you're struggling with writer's block, go watch our episode about generating story ideas with a technique we call story in a can. We've been using this technique on a bunch of our Sunday shows. We have special guests joining us and we try and come up with cool concepts for a film based on what we pull out of the cans. I've been Richard Scott. Thank you for watching The Film Look and remember, achieve it one shot at a time.